Welcome to your inner journey weather forecast in which we utilize archetypal astrology to understand the energies in the collective and how they may show up in your psychedelic journeys this week or if you are sitting for others experiencing psychedelic journeys this week. So first off, everyone, uh, happy full moon in Pisces. I know it's full moon because of the length of my beard, which I shaved during the new moon. And now I know it's a full moon. This is a like uh, full moon shadow right here. Let's look at this week's forecast using Archetypal Explorer. And here you can see Archetypal Explorer. We are in the middle here in uh, the beginning of the week the middle of a trough between Venus Saturn and Venus Uranus. And so that means we're in a Venus Saturn, we're actually in a Venus Saturn Uranus T square. And uh, we, and then as well, we have a Mercury square Pluto aspect happening. So I'm gonna talk about both of those. Those are both significant energies that will show up in your psychedelic journeys this week and in the journeys of those that you are sitting for. First at the Venus Saturn Uranus T square, those energies uh, show up in relation to the Venusian in our life. So the Venusian has to do with what we value and uh, what gives us pleasure, harmony. So it's associated with things like friendships, loves, um, what, we, what we personally value, what we find beautiful, our own aesthetic. Saturn is the reality principle that really wants us to get grounded and kind of limit the distraction in terms of what we value and get very real with what we value. Uranus brings in a kind of a rebel element of new things, new things that we might value, the unexpected things. So in a psychedelic journey that can show up as um, feeling maybe uh, the Saturnian reality setting in, in terms of what, what, our, what our values are, realizing that there's a reality, you know, what we thought was maybe isn't, and that there's a reality that we need to measure up to in terms of the Venusian in our life. Um, but by doing that, we actually come to a point where we are able to experience a Uranian opening experience an opening of some new, some, something new, something exciting that comes in. So an excellent example of this is uh, Jonathan Richman was born with Venus, Saturn, Uranus, and he has a song called I Was Dancing at the Lesbian Bar, and we'll include a link up here so you can actually click and watch that song, and get the flavor of this energy that we're going into this week. And that one is a nice fun take on it because it's basically he narrates a story and in the story he's uh, goes out with friends to a bar and it's kind of uptight. And it's kind of um, like buttoned up and then he gets invited to dance at the lesbian bar next door, which is, uh, you know, more relaxed. And so he's going back and forth because it's like the, the Venus, the uh, the fun, the pleasure, you know, one is more sober, one is more, he says, this bar is just all right, this bar is Friday night. And so it gives you a sense of, uh, of this balance between kind of the sober business side and the side that's more Uranian, it's more fun, it's more cutting loose. So uh, also born with Venus, Saturn, Uranus is Mila Jovich, and you can see it in her character Katinka in Zoolander. She embodies this energy too, in the sense that she's kind of beautiful and funny and quirky, but kind of serious at the same time. So that can also be an embodiment of Venus, Saturn, Uranus for you to just absorb. And from there, let's actually look at uh, the, the, the Mercury-Pluto aspect. So Mercury-Pluto aspect is really very powerful for, for going into your deep inward dives, your deep dives of psycho-spiritual growth because mercury has to do with the mind it has to do with the perception the message the communication the thinking and pluto is associated with the depths the hidden that which is hidden that which is esoteric and so it's quite common during experiences during transits like this to actually feel called to journey because we want to see what's beneath the surface we want to see the hidden perceive the hidden or feel that a message is coming up from the subconscious that wants to find a voice during that time. So that's also Mercury-Pluto. 
you can think of Mercury Pluto characters uh, like, for instance, uh, Keanu Reeves was born with Mercury Pluto, and he embodies that as uh, uh, the main character in The Matrix, and how the Matrix he's the his character is about seeing beneath the surface, you know, seeing beneath the veneer of of the simulation. Also, Alex Gray was born with Mercury Pluto, and his his paintings are and they give you a window where you can see beneath the surface of the skin. You know, he has these paintings where you're able to actually see through a person. You can see deep into them and through them, and so that's Mercury Pluto as well. Wonderful aspects for journeying. One Venus has to do more with our values, our heart, our friendships, our love, our aesthetic. And the other has to do with the depth, diving to the depths, the perceptions, the messages. Uh, very powerful energies this week, and they are moving us towards a Mercury uh, retrograde, which means that we're going to be in Mercury Pluto for a while. So we'll get a chance to explore that further in next week's episode. But for now, I wish you a wonderful week. I wish you fruitful journeys, productive psycho spiritual growth. My name is James Moran. And we'll see you next week on your inner journey weather forecast.